Tipping Norton Field is ready and they're dispatched. They're off and racing. Now, Animo settles about fourth last out of the gates. Knight's order stamped urgent together with Mawunga wide out. And Mawunga showing tremendous zip to move up on the outside of Knight's order. And they've opened up several lengths clear. El Bodigan goes forward on the outside of Hinge. Then came Arapaho, followed by Fangirl. And now Animo gets to midfield. In advance of Laws of Indices, followed them by Benno. Two after Montefilia from Huetor. And Stockman's last of all going to the first bend. The pace is still on Knight's order. Really being tested by Mawunga. Bowman just has to ease back a little bit and let Knight's order have his own way. He leads by a half length to Mawunga, but the pace has been strong early. El Bodigan gets to a clear third. Two lengths away to Hinge, followed by Fangirl, then came Arapaho. Laws of Indices next on the rails inside the hot favourite Animo. Two lengths then to Benno from Quetor, Modophilia, and Stockman is the last one. Inside the 600 metres, Knight's order and Mawunga. They've been at it from the start. Two lengths away to El Bodigan and a clear third, followed by Hinge, then came Arapaho. Animo gets onto his back, and Fangirl is pinching good ground, very good ground as they turn for home. It's Knight's order, and Mawunga the outside. Fangirl has to go back to the inside. Animo lets loose now, and he lets go with a big sprint in the middle of the track, and the super stallion Animo races to the lead and kicked away from Mawunga, Fangirl, and then came Laws of Indices, but here's group win, group one win, number eight for the great Animo, destroys them in the Chipping Norton, Fangirl second, Mawunga brave in third, followed by Laws of Indices, Modophilia late, further back to Hingston Knight's order, a gap to Arapaho, Benno, then came Stockman, El Bodigan, and Huetor was last in.